morning and welcome to Living Local 15. I'm your host, Jessica Williams. Happy Monday to you. It's time we kick it off with some motivation. Here's the quote. Every strike brings me closer to the next home run. The cool thing about making mistakes, experiencing failure, or seemingly striking out is that you gain insight. You learn what to do and what not to do. You learn what works for you and what doesn't. There is never a strategy that can be executed without trial and error, without A-B testing, and without looking at the analytics and making adjustments. So let me encourage you, consider your strikes and error Learn from your trials, keep swinging that bat, and eventually you will hit a home run. Now on to the show. First up, we sit down with Middle Waves Music Festival and learn about this exciting concert filled with indie rock music, taking place on Saturday, June 15th at Parkview Field. Then it's Money Monday, and Foster Financial breaks down employee stock purchase plans. And later, we get the scoop about some fun products hot on the market for toddlers from our Best Reviews team. That and more happening now. Fashion, food, and fun. You're watching Living Local 15 with your host, Jessica Williams. The Middle Waves Music Festival is taking place on June 15th, and here to share all about it is Carly Myers, the Chief Marketing Officer with the Embassy Theater, because they are the presenting sponsor. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Well, congratulations on Thank getting you. Middle Waves yeah. this year. We're very excited. How exciting. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, so let's start off by just giving folks an overview about what is Middle Waves. Sure, absolutely. So Middle Waves Music Festival it's been here for several years mm -hmm. um, and then about a year and a half ago we started talking to the board there they were interested in kind of handing it over to somebody mm -hmm. started having conversations we decided it made a lot of sense with our mission and strategy mm -hmm. so we acquired the festival last year wow. started planning we had a hype event last June at Parkview Field and this is the first year that we're hosting it yeah. and have a great lineup of five bands and all kinds of stuff going on around the concourse to make it just a fun energetic day yes and this is taking place at Parkview yes field yep mm -hmm. on um, uh, on June 15th gates open at 3 uh, the first band starts at 345 and then we have all kinds of activities going on uh, so we have uh, always is the headliner which is a Grammy nominated band mm -hmm. the whole lineup is pretty much an indie rock okay. type of vibe this uh -huh. year um, and then so we got Houndmouth, Pom Pom Squad, Murder by Death and like I said Overlook starts off the day and then we have four zones around the concourse mm -hmm. we have a live art zone which is really cool because you're not only seeing people doing live art artists locally that are fantastic and really talented uh -huh. but people can take part in creating the art which mm -hmm. is really great uh, we have a game zone that will have games for both adults and children mm -hmm. and then we have a creativity zone where you can immerse yourself in uh, playing and being involved with making music which is yes. really cool and then a vendor zone where you can kind of shop and kind of get the, the your festival wares that you would be used to at, at a festival yes. and um, and then we have a DJ DJ double K who is performing in between all of the the bands as well to keep kind of the energy and the vibe going yes okay well that's really cool and so this um, concert is an annual thing so people are yes. used to having it yep but um, is there anything different really that's taken place this year now that you all are presenting it sure I think that the, the big difference is going to be that most people are used to it being like a full day or a day and a half type of festival. Okay. We're starting it off a little smaller mm -hmm. because we want to sustainably keep this going for the long haul. Yes. That's a big key. Um, that was uh, one of the challenges the original group had of just, you know, the, being in the festival business is very expensive, yes. very time consuming. So we are starting it off as a kind of an abbreviated event. Uh -huh. uh, people can look forward to it growing next year. We already have a plan for next year that we'll be announcing later. Okay. <laughs> uh, very excited about that, um, and that this is just—I mean—the energy and the um, the fun and just like kind of the immersive experience that Fort Wayne was used to with mm -hmm. Middle Waves. Same deal. Yeah. Um, we wanted to keep that intact because that's what people loved about it. Right. Um, and as far as having just great fresh indie music, having it be kind of a 
it's, you know, it appeals to all ages, but like drawing in a demographic that doesn't have to go to Indy or Chicago or Detroit right. to like experience a music festival. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're really excited about growing it and kind mm -hmm. of keeping it the same, but growing it over time. Yes, absolutely. It kind of creates a local Coachella for us. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I love that. I love that. Yes. <laughs> okay. And so um, as people are preparing to mm -hmm. attend, mm -hmm. so it's going to be at Parkview. So that means that there's seats. People yes. don't need to bring lawn chairs or blankets and stuff, right? They can if they okay. want to. Um, and on our website, we have an FAQ section that talks about what you can and can't bring. Uh -huh. uh, we're kind of in compliance with what Parkview Field allows as well. Yes. Uh, but there's a lot of green, I mean, we're activating the green space at Parkview Field. Mm -hmm. um, there are places to kind of naturally hang out. We'll have the natural seating that's there already. Mm -hmm. um, and because it's all taking place on the concourse, um, most people probably won't want to sit and seat seats. Okay. Um, but like that's to get closer to the stage, there'll be places where you can hang out and kind of cop a squat or hang yeah. out, you know, in natural seating that's there. Yeah, that sounds like a really fun night. And tickets are so affordable. It's $40 for yes. adults and $10 yep. for you. Absolutely. Our VIP yes. and VVIP already sold out, which is exciting. Oh, wow. So that was, yeah, that sold out really quickly, uh, which was great news for mm -hmm. like just the support and people uh, wanting to kind of have an elevated experience right. um, at the event. But yeah, we're trying to make it affordable. We want uh, people to understand that this is, even though the majority of people will be there will be probably adults, but we're making this, we call it, consider this an all ages event. Okay, okay. So, you know, we encourage people to bring families and kids and stuff if that's, you know, what they want to do. Um, mm -hmm. If you just want to come and hang with your friends or make it a date night or whatever, um, absolutely, it'll be great for kind of everyone yeah. in attendance. And will there be um, different food vendors or what Parkview Concessions offers? Yeah, Parkview okay. Concessions is offering is kind of tapping into some special things that we wanted okay. um, to, to help out. They've got the great logistics set up there, which mm -hmm. is kind of helping us year one have it close to home base yeah. and to be able to help have them help manage kind of that piece of it. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that'll be great. And there will be like band merch and stuff like you would oh, expect. Nice. Uh -huh. um, and like I said, the vendor vibe will be really fun. We've got some really creative vendors that are going to be in attendance. Those sold out, you know, as far as um, kind of capturing each individual uh, yeah, vendor with that. So like a variety those, of yeah, businesses. Absolutely. Okay, yep. so people yes. can shop, listen to music, That's eat. right. And I love what you said about the zones, the game yes. zone, creative zone, the yes. um, artistic yeah. zone. So that sounds so good. So looking into the future, I'm not sure if um, this is a plan yet, but each year will you change up the style of music or will this be a consistently known indie Sure, rock? that's a great question. So Middle Waves kind of tapped into a multi-genre experience However, they leaned heavy into indie rock. Okay. Um, when we were looking at lineup for this year, because the artist fees are very expensive right now, mm. like I said, we wanted to start small and kind of like grow it over time. We wanted to lean into the indie rock vibe because when we interviewed the public and we had a great survey with lots of public um, feedback, yeah. and most people wanted it to be indie rock. Okay. So when we looked at it and designed kind of the lineup and did the shell game with performers and uh, what we were going to do uh, from a lineup perspective, we thought we're going to like, we're going to tap into that because that's what people want. Yes. Over time, when we add to the length of the day or we make it a multi-day event, that's when we'll we'll kind of expand the genres. People do that. That's yeah. exciting. It is. Very exciting. <laughs> and if someone wants to purchase tickets, where yep. should they go? They can come to the Starbank box office at the okay. embassy. That's a way to avoid some of the fees that people complain about. Mm. But you can get them through Ticketmaster, through uh, fwembassytheater.org, or middlewaves.com. Okay. Um, as easy as, you know, we can make it easy so everyone can go anywhere easily and get them. And get them. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Carly. Thank you. <laughs> and if you would like more information about Middle Waves, keep in mind this is taking place on June 15th. So now is the time to get your tickets and I'll see you after the break. Have an idea for the show? Want to find out how you can be a guest? Contact us at livinglocal15 at wayne.com. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Welcome to Money Monday with Foster Financial. I'm so excited to be joined by Caleb Doan, their vice president. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Okay, so today is Money Monday. And before we were doing like Women's Money Monday, but now we're doing Women's Wealth Wednesday. You know, that has a little ring to it. <laughs> yeah. And now Mondays, we can kick off with some really great general industry trends, right? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. 
So yeah, today I figured we'd talk a little bit about what's called employee stock purchase plans, mm -hmm. uh, which is something that's, that's relatively common in our area. Okay. And it's typically kind of a, a benefit that is added to an employee's overall benefits package mm -hmm. that they can take advantage of. And of course, it has to do with investments. So I figured we'd chat about it. Yes, okay, well, let's get into it. So what is that stock option plan? Yeah, so, so this is something that gives employees the ability to purchase company stock from their employer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's only available if the company that they're working for is a publicly traded company, mm -hmm. um, but it's not within a 401k plan. So there are mm -hmm. some 401k plans that allow you to purchase company stock inside of it. Right. This is outside of that. And so it maybe doesn't come with some of the tax benefits, but it also doesn't come with some of the restrictions where you know you have to wait until you're a certain age to like sell and take withdrawals and things like that. So, right, because last week we were talking about the NUAs, yeah. and that was all about if you had a stock that was a publicly traded company mm -hmm. and you specifically invested it within your 401k. Right. So right. this is totally separate. Has to do with stock, but it does not have to be a part of a 401k. Yeah. So that means that a person could have two separate accounts. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's exactly mm -hmm. right. Um, the, the employee stock purchase plan, it would go in what they call kind of an after-tax brokerage account. Mm. Um, and the really nice thing um, is that you typically get a discount when you purchase the company stock. Okay. And so that's kind of the benefit that, that the company is giving you saying, hey, you work here, we're hoping that this kind of motivates you to mm. maybe do a better job or something mm -hmm. like that. And so a lot of times they give you a discount. As opposed to the general public who can purchase right. that stock. Okay. Right. Yeah, so that's they get exactly it for right. For less. Okay. Yeah. Same value. Yeah, yeah, exact <laughs> same exact stock. You get, you know, one share is, is the same as any other share you'd yeah. buy. You just get it for a bit of a discount. Okay. And every plan is is different, but generally they, they kind of work this way. Mm -hmm. So you will have a, a salary deferral, paycheck deferral, every single paycheck you tell your company to withhold. 100 bucks or 200 bucks mm -hmm. or whatever it is. And generally two times throughout the year, they'll actually take that lump sum of money and purchase the stock. And the oh. price that you get to purchase that stock mm -hmm. at is usually a discount of the lower of the price at the beginning of the six months or the end of the six months. Mm -hmm. and so it's, it's kind of confusing, but mm -hmm. generally, let's say they do their purchases on January 1st and July 1st, right. you know, mm -hmm. six months apart. If on January 1st, I tell my company, all right, withhold 100 bucks per paycheck you know, until July, mm -hmm. they withhold all that money. They take a look at the stock price on January 1st and then July 1st, mm -hmm. and they say, all right, we'll give you the lower of those two, and then we'll also give you a 15% discount. Mm. And so if, if the stock price was, you know, let, let's say the stock price goes down over the okay. six months. So in January, it's $110. In July, it's a hundred bucks. They say, "All right, we'll give you a fifteen percent discount on the hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You get to buy it at eighty-five dollars." And so, I have a few questions about yeah. this. So, first, as the stock is being purchased, it's on your behalf, and the company is doing it. So, as an employee, you don't have to do anything to try to purchase it and do that process. No, no, you just tell them, "Hey, mm -hmm. withhold X amount for my paycheck," and mm -hmm. then you have you know an E Trade account or whatever. Yeah. it is and at the end of that six months company just puts that stock right and in then there. do they purchase the number of stock that um, fills out the amount of money like yeah. if you had six hundred dollars the stock is a hundred dollars they will purchase six shares for you yeah yeah that's exactly right and so what if okay so this is continual so throughout the entire year so let's say at the end of the year you have 12 shares mm -hmm. Now, do you have to keep going or can you say, well, that's enough. That's all I want in this company. Is it like what type of flexibility do you have with this um, purchase option? Yeah, yeah, that's a great question because I guess one of the objections that people will have is they'll say, well, what if the company does bad, right? Yeah. You know, and so they're, they're maybe worried that, okay, if the company does poorly, you know, one, potentially my, my job is here. So, right. I mean, I could get laid off. But also if I have a lot of money tied up in their stock, mm -hmm. that could also do poorly too. Mm -hmm. And so... Sometimes, in a lot of plans, they allow you to sell that stock as soon as you want. Mm. Um, so some of them restrict how long you have to hold it and things mm -hmm. like that. But there's a lot of ones that just say, hey, you can sell the stock immediately. Mm -hmm. So you could choose, hey, I just want to stop purchasing. You could choose, hey, I want to keep going. You yeah. could choose, all right, I want to sell everything that I have. Mm -hmm. it's, it's completely up to you. Um, but at, at the very least, typically, 
you're getting at least a little bit of a return. Because right. even if the stock price has gone down over that six month period, mm -hmm. you still got to buy it at a 15% discount. Yeah. And then if it was the opposite, let's say the stock started at you know, 100 bucks in January, went up to 110 by mm -hmm. July, you would still get a 15% discount mm. on that $100 from January. And so mm. you buy it at 85, you could turn around the next day and sell it for 110 right. and make a nice little spread there. Huh, so these funds, are they pre-taxed when they go in? Uh, they're they're after-tax funds. Okay. So yeah, you, you have to basically pay taxes on the gain when you sell it. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So there's <laughs> yeah. no way, because I'm thinking, you know, sometimes these companies, their stocks shoot up so much. Right. And so, I mean, I guess you get the money that you didn't originally invest. So that's a good thing, but you still have to pay. So yeah. what is typically, is it just whatever tax bracket you were in when you decide to sell it? Is that what it is? It, it actually depends how long you hold the, mm. the funds for. Okay. So if you just turn around and immediately sell it, mm -hmm. yeah, it would be whatever tax bracket you're in. Okay. It would be your ordinary income tax bracket. Mm -hmm. If you hold it for more than a year, you typically get a more kind of advantageous tax tax bracket is okay. usually capital gains after that point. Um, okay. But still, you know, even if you have to pay taxes on it, if somebody, mm -hmm. you know, just gave me a thousand bucks off the street and said, hey, you know, do you want this? You'll have to pay taxes on it. Right. I'd say, sure. <laughs> even though I have to pay taxes, hey, it's still, still exactly. better than nothing. So uh, a lot of times employers also limit the amount that you're able to purchase oh. because it's such a nice benefit to give you that 15% mm. off. So okay. they'll say, you know, you can only do 12,000 a year, 13,000 a year, something oh, like that. Okay, not yeah. too bad. And so do you recommend that um, employees consider this? Like, should everyone be looking into their stock options at their job? Yeah, they should They should certainly consider it. Everyone's plan is different. Every employee stock purchase plan is different too. But there are a lot of people that, that maybe immediately think, oh, you know, that that's not for me. Um, but a lot of times, even if you just turn around and sell it immediately, yeah. you can still get some benefit there. So okay. it's certainly something to check out. Okay, but public traded companies only. Like yeah, yeah, companies. around the area. Okay. I mean, Zimmer Biomat is a big one around the area that yeah. does the employee stock purchase plan. A lot of companies like that. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for breaking it down for us today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> And if you would like more information about Foster Financial, they do offer complimentary consultations. We'll have their phone number listed below, and I'll see you after the break. This segment sponsored by Foster Financial. Follow us on social media at Living Local 15. Having a toddler comes with a whole new set of challenges from keeping their minds growing to making sure they're healthy. To make sure they have the right products, joining us now with the must-haves for your little one is Senior Director of Content Operations at Best Reviews, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, it's always so good to see you. Oh, it's great to be here. And I love it when it's right in my wheelhouse. And I've got a toddler at home, so I'm ready to speak to how all of these things can make life a little easier because I think the one thing that most parents can agree on is that there are a lot of different things you can use to make life easier because it's not the easiest process. So thank you for sorting through some of this with us. Um, let's start right here. What do we have here? When you go from constantly giving your baby milk to giving them solids and getting them on a real food, it's kind of scary and it's also a mess in a literal and kind of figurative way. Uh, and these will help you manage that mess. It's also all these products are made out of silicone, which is nice because they can't, the toddler can't break it yes. when, uh, you know, he or she throws it on the ground. Right. I know food uh, time is when they love to just throw everything on the floor. What's great about the, uh, the bowl here is that it will adhere to the table so your toddler won't be able to pull it off and throw it as easily as they want to. So we got the feeding done and now we need some playtime. What do we have here? And at this age, playtime is so important for development. So we've got a few different products here, all from Miniland. And what's great about these is that they cover a lot of different uh, uh, portions of that developmental cycle. So starting here with the sensory balls, this is great for the younger toddler, you know, the kid who's still trying to figure things out and go through a bunch of different stuff. Love these because they give a bunch of different textures, a bunch of different weights. And then you move into uh, some of the dolls here. 
And my daughter will be absolutely crazy about these because she is doll obsessed. But what's great about these is again, they're teaching and they're helping kids develop. So starting with the diversity blocks here, it helps them understand the world around them. It helps them understand that people come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. We've got the emoji blocks, which helps them understand their own emotions. And this will help them understand, you know, what are these feelings that I'm processing through right now? Well, helping them understand that. How do you react to that? How does this make you feel is a super valuable thing, especially when they're thinking they're just having fun. Yeah, toys that are doing double duty. Yes. I'm really into that. And I appreciate the diversity as well. I think. A lot of great messages and it's really important. You know, it's really important because they are just figuring out so many different things. So What's next for the, for the parents? So today? this is a romper from Docatot. This can do double, double duty because it's nice and heavy. It'll keep them warm. It's quilted. So it kind of doubles up in a way that's super valuable for that daytime sleep. So love it for the weekends. Uh, love it for when you're going out and you might want to, you know, have them catch a quick nap while you're at the park. Okay, love that. It's going to get them nice and cozy. And anytime that they can sleep, I'm sure parents will yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> Any product that encourages sleep is a good product for yes. a parent. So yes. what do we have over here with this teddy bear? So this is a very interesting product and it comes to us from Tum and Bum. And it's what's great about it is that it solves very real issues for a lot of toddlers. Uh, you know, they might have congestion. They might be dealing with uh, something as serious as acid reflux, which is super uncomfortable. And this helps them do it in a natural way. They're supposed, the toddler's supposed to lay on it like how we see the teddy bear is right now with, you know, their st stomach down and their head to the side. So it helps them alleviate some of those symptoms, which is very upsetting for parents as kids are struggling with that. Jacob, I love all of these products. I love the multi-use that you get out of them and really that it's uh, entertaining the kids, doing something great for them, and then just making life less stressful for parents. So thank you. Anything a parent can grab and use and be functional with, they're going to be a big fan of it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jacob. And thanks for having me. For more on these products and others, head to bestreviews.com or scan the QR code that you see on your screen. Best Reviews is owned by our parent company, Nexstar. You can find more on the products and where to buy them on wayne.com. Living Local 15, proudly driven by the Kelly Automotive Group. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, you can always catch up on episodes and segments of Living Local 15 by going to wayne.com, downloading the Wayne app, and also checking us out on YouTube. And I'll leave you with this. Every strike brings me closer to the next home run. So I hope you hit it out the field this week, and I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Content segments during today's Living Local 15 were paid for by these sponsors.